Hey guys, Hook Sports Cards here. Hope everybody's having a blessed morning. Well guys, I really appreciate all the comments on my last episode of my wife's grandfather, Joseph Cordix Photos. Uh, I appreciate all the comments. Uh, uh, Picker Jim figured out who that player was in that uh, repentant umpire photo that I didn't know who it was. It was Manti Mota for the Pirates back in 1966. I knew that photo was probably taken in 66. My wife had said something about that. And Jim figured out that that was Manny Mota. And he also figured out who the umpire was. And I can't remember the name offhand right now, so I'll have to uh, check that again. But uh, I appreciate Picker Jim uh, letting me know who that player was. And uh, with this coming up week, like I said, I'm going to uh, uh, do another video with some more of his photos this week. And then also going to get with my father-in-law sometime here soon and uh, have him on the show and let him tell some of the stories when he was working behind the camera and uh, doing the audio for the Chicago White Sox and Chicago Cubs. So uh, he's got a lot of great stories there. But guys, like I said, today we're going to go to a show in Lexington, Kentucky, and we're going to try to pick up uh, a lot of vintage stuff today. And uh, I want to show you some video of uh, some stuff from the show. That's what I'm going to do and what I pick up. So guys, uh, let's uh, go at it. Did you say when you going to open up next month? May. I'm or trying May, to open up May 1st. Okay. Uh, if I get, that stuff's going pretty good. If I get it, I will uh, open up sooner. Yeah, those are really nice. And that came out of that whole collection? Uh, no. Oh, that was Zimmer, just, that's part of me. That's what I've been playing. Oh, okay. So my collection now is my card shop. Gotcha. Yeah, that's really nice. I've only got one card that I'm keeping out of that grouping, uh, and it's a uh, Winchester Hustle card. So I was talking to this uh, dealer right here that had all this nice vintage stuff, had a lot of Mickey Mantles, Hank Aarons, Roberto Clemente's, uh, had a nice Tom Brady rookie card and everything. But he's going to be opening a shop in uh, in Kentucky, close to the Lexington area, in uh, Winchester, and I think he said that was going to be coming up in May. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. Anytime you can find some dealers that uh, have a lot of vintage stuff, uh, but yeah, he did. He definitely had really nice stuff. Uh, nice Mickey Mantles. So I was looking at that 1933 Gowdy uh, Eddie Collins card, and it was authentic. So what's the difference in authentic and a one? I know with PSA, I guess it's it's being trimmed or whatever like that or altered in some way. I guess it's altered. I mean, but it just said it was authentic. So uh, is there a difference between uh, SGC and PSA? when they just authenticate something. Just curious from the experts uh, on grading. I, I'm not an expert on grading, so I only really grade through PSA, so I don't know that much about SGC. So I was just curious of, uh, is there a difference in those two companies, what they say something's authentic instead of grading it a one? So please let me know that. <laughs>
right guys well here's my big purchase from the card show it's this 1968 tops johnny bench rookie card and uh excited to get this in my collection so very happy about that as you can see i mean the corners on these things are spectacular i guess the reason why it's a five is because it's just off center so bad but um you know they say buy the card not the grade and i feel like this thing's probably a six probably not a seven but probably a six and i also could be maybe a six and a half i just think that the the card's in great shape other than being off center i couldn't see anything wrong with it so and then um end up picking up this early win 1953 card so got a good deal on that and uh so i was excited about that one that was a uh, pretty cool looking card there and then i picked up these right here for 25 cents each so you can't really beat uh picking up some hall of famers for 25 cents i guess but uh yeah but then i went to another table and who buys five stam usual cards is that crazy or what but honestly i feel like i got such a great deal on these cards that i couldn't pass them up so i don't know if any of them are going to be worth sending in and get graded but i'm going to be doing some card shows of my own so this was uh you know i picked some of these up just to have at my table when i do my card shows so like I said, it was just such a great deal. I couldn't pass him up. I asked him how much he wanted for all five of them. He gave me a great price, so I bought them. So, but yeah, this was the card that I was excited to get. And uh, I won't stop buying just one of them. I'll probably get more of them because, as everybody knows, I'm a big Johnny Bench fan. So, but yep. So these are the pickups from the card show today. Hey guys, well I appreciate you watching today. And like I said, I'm going to do a, a episode this coming up week of some more of those photos from Joseph Cordy. Uh, looking forward to doing that. But guys, I appreciate all the comments uh, and I hope you enjoy uh, this Lexington show as much as I did. And uh, guys, until next time, we'll see you later.